he asked Michael Jordan uh, a few months ago. He said, Michael, now don't be, you know, shy and don't be this and don't be that. Are you the best basketball player to ever play? And Michael said, yes, I am. Michael Jordan and you, for a while, went back and forth. Yeah, he's at a different level of celebrity, isn't right. he? Only because of the, the, the different kinds of media exposure mm -hmm. that he's been given. If the two of you were in a room together, where do you think your conversation would, would focus, the two of you? Well, well, you know, first, you know... We're at the NBA's all-time team celebration, Cleveland, 1997. And over in the corner is Wilt and Michael Jordan. And they're sitting at a table arguing vociferously as to who the greatest player of all time was. And they're really? back and forth. And just, it just intense as can be. Hey, does it steam you that Michael Jordan gets paid so much and you were ten times the player he is well, and you never got that kind of big money? Do you ever say to yourself, am I better than... Do you consider yourself... Like, yeah, is he better than you were? It bothers you when people talk about him as being the greatest player of all time. Well, it bothers me because we all have our opinions. And I don't think that, you know, uh, commensurate with uh, what he's doing, what he's done, and, and, the, and how the game is going today, that he, he's better than uh, a number of people. I contend Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player who ever lived. Mm -hmm. I would put you number two only because mm -hmm. you only won two championships. Now people are going to say, well, you know what, he had a lot of stats and this and that. You won two world championships, okay? I have a friend of mine who I talk to about once a week. You know what he says about Michael's four championships? Mm -hmm. He doesn't say anything about it. Because, Why? Because, because he has 11. He has no 11. Russell. I don't think, uh, you know, you can predicate how great a guy really is or because he has championships. There's a lot of guys on those championship teams who've done nothing. The greatest scorer of all time? Not even. Would you well, even give him that? Well, you know, you see, what people don't remember was that my first seven years, I scored a lot of points. Then I stopped scoring on my own volition. Uh, I tried to do other things. I was asked to do other things, and that's what I did. So if I had continued to score, I would probably be averaging 40 points for my whole my whole lifetime. Does that make me the best scorer? I really don't know. But one thing I do know, that all the years where I was usually scoring all those points, I was leading the league in percentile shooting. And that's also important because if you take all the shots, then you should be making the highest percentage. So when they compare me with Michael, Michael's averaging 31 uh, points for his lifetime. I average about 30 points for a lifetime. But I stopped scoring. Now, I know that basketball is a team game. Right. And you've already made Michael number one. Mm -hmm. But if you had to have Will against Michael, my prime and his prime, how much money would you be willing to bet? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he's six foot seven and he's uh, like 197 pounds. Mm -hmm coming into what we call our domain, the pivot mm -hmm. for us big guys, mm -hmm. would not have been very wise of Michael, you know, if he was playing during our time. Uh, so we would say, uh, Michael, you know, as long as you do all those fancy things outside of where we are, that's fine. You think you could have beaten Michael in your prime? He would take you outside. He'd shoot from the three-point arc. Then you'd try to come out and get him. He'd, ride, he'd dribble around you. I run 109, 5, 100 meters, around 10, 10, 2, and then in that area. 52 vertical. A 50-inch vertical jump. By the way, what's what's Michael Jordan's vertical jump? Do we know? I don't think it's quite that high. Not as high. No. Bench press almost 600 pounds. Michael would probably be going. Wait a minute, 600 pounds? 600 pounds. You no. think uh, he'd have been crushed? Is what you're saying? I don't think. I know you've been crushed. <laughs> right, yeah. So it wouldn't it wouldn't have been good for Michael. See, I came into the NBA and destroyed it. my tool were so dominant that they frightened people. You were Jordan before Jordan. Yes? Yeah, well, you know, I didn't even like to say Jordan before Jordan, because Jordan, you know, Jordan's come behind a whole lot of us, as far as I'm concerned. Will, who always has the last word in everything, Will looked down at Michael and said, Michael, until you are so great that they start changing the game to stop your greatness, then I don't think you have a right to make that accolades in that particular way.